We understand that grief is a process many of us have to go through. Trafford, is it really that simple though? Is it just, you know, a matter of steps from one to ten or something like that? <laughs> Dr Kubler-Ross came up many years ago with a variety of issues that couples or people, individuals, mm -hmm. will experience when they lose somebody special to them or they might even lose their job or they even lose a pet. Okay. There's a lot of sadness naturally, a lot of anger sometimes. Sometimes we bargain. But when we have something that we can see Mm -hmm. a, a body, if you like, a pet dies, we see the pet. It's quite look, final. It, it's yeah. final, but we somehow can see it. But there's a loss, Monica, that we don't often think about, and that's what we call ambiguous loss. Ambiguous loss. Ambiguous loss. Okay. It's about where there's no verification of death. There's no um, sense in which we, I mean, maybe illustrate, someone doesn't come home from war. Oh, okay. Right. We don't know what happened to them. A I lot see. of people had to deal with that through the wars. Yes. Um, a, a natural disaster, tsunami or an earthquake mm -hmm. and, and there's no finding the body. How do we deal with you know, that sort of loss when, when we can't see them? And, and so we, we, it might be even um, uh, uh, through natural disaster or even if, when we lose our parents because of divorce. So our parents... Okay. Heads, our, our they're dad still there, moves, but they're yeah. not there. Yeah, we, we, especially for a younger, but where have they gone? We mm -hmm. don't know. Um, immigration, w okay. where a family members might immigrate. So there's a variety of ways in which we experience that. The other part of that moniker is, in fact, we may have a body, mm -hmm. to, to put it in those terms, but their minds, their I mental see. So mental Capacity. illnesses, Alzheimer's, that kind yeah. of thing. So how do you deal with this, with this ambiguous loss? Not easy. Okay. Not easy. Um, for example, a, a husband might say, am I still a husband to my wife who, who doesn't recognise me and hasn't for five years? Mm -hmm. you know, how, am I still a child to a parent who doesn't know who I am? That's yeah. tough. That's tough. And I think one of the things that the research suggests it's about developing a resiliency and in some way normalising that, recognising this is my experience. I'm okay. You know, I'm hurting, but and and recognizing the value of the family, because usually when a family experiences that, they want to stay together. That's valuable. Maybe one of the best things we can do is get in touch with other people who've experienced something similar, okay, and find strength in shared a story. support system. Yeah, a support group. Okay. So it's a, it's a serious issue of loss. We need to recognize it. And, and support people through that as we can. Which you can find in a church or a community. Yeah, I think, Great. yeah. We've, we need to take care of them because it is a serious issue. Okay, wonderful. Thanks for your Thank advice. You. Thanks for watching and we'll see you right after the break.